So the Colts are now on the clock, and I just want to say this, certainly if he's out there listening, uh, Chris Ballard, the general manager of the Indianapolis Colts, was on the Rich Eisen show last Friday, and I asked him, how many quarterbacks do you think will start this draft, knowing he's not in the quarterback game, obviously, and he said he thinks three, but if it's four, he would love it. And he told me that if I could get, as if I had anything to do with it, six quarterbacks taken before he's on the clock, 15th overall. He said, quote, I will come on your show whenever you want. Chris? <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk to you. <laughs> Let's talk. Maybe Monday, maybe Tuesday. What you up to, Chris? Because look how many quarterbacks are off the board. Six quarterbacks. With, and that pushes everybody down. Yep. So anybody that's now picking here that aren't quarterback needy, they are psyched with the way that this trades and these this night has actually gone down. Ooh, let me jump in real quick. Rich, you mentioned pushing everyone down. Daniel, does this push someone up? Because now we're talking about the Colts, and I keep hearing receivers a possibility for them, and the receivers have been picked up you know, big time. Brian Thomas Jr. may, be have, may have a chance to move his way up in this, in this scenario. Because Brock Bowers is off the board as well. Yeah, when I, when I look at this team, I had him taking Bowers, so he's gone. Well, all the offense players are going. But when I look at the second need for them is corner. We obviously have yet to see one. Yep. You've got Terry and Arnold from Alabama. You've also got Quinion Mitchell from Toledo, two excellent players. Um, so, look, eventually somebody's got to take defense. So who's, who's it going to be? Who wants to do it here? Well, I think we'll stay here and find out. Well, we just saw some cheering in the Colts draft room, which means the clock that we're seeing counting down is just a, a mere formality. Ian? Which I want to bring up another need for the Indianapolis Colts. You guys talk about the top player on board. Laiatu Atu is considered by many the top pass rusher on the board. His medical situation has been very much in focus. Of course, had a cervical spine issue, had a surgery, took a disc out, was, of course, retired, came back and played for UCLA. I know a lot of people thought that oh, a lot of teams would flunk him. It seems the medical is really okay. Got probably as good medical reports as you could imagine considering his injury. Obviously, could just be one hit. We don't know. But medically, it's pretty positive, much more than you would think going into this process. Thank you very much, Ian, for that information there on uh, one of the more talented players on uh, draft boards dropping because of medical concerns, obviously. Three minutes to go until we... We get the pick. They were cheering, so yep. we're, we're now just waiting for, I guess, the processing. I, I to still go, go back, Joe. I'm gonna let you take it from here. I still go back to Anthony Richardson's selection last year, yeah. and they want to continue to build around him. Yep. Big pass catchers, guys with catch radius, is something that's on the board for them. Yeah, there's other possibilities. Daniel's right. The corner could be there. Latu could be there. But Anthony Richardson is the focus of this team. My thing too, though, Joel. There's C.J. Stroud out there. Yes. And that's what that looked like year one. What do you think that's going to look like as this guy gets more experience and becomes more comfortable? You better get guys that can pass rush against C.J. Stroud, and you better get some guys who can cover Tank Dell and all the different weapons that they're going to throw at you, Nico Collins and company. And, and because their their offense, to me, is is built to try to keep the opposing offense off the field. So what are you going to do? you got to go out there, and you got to defend those guys on the outside. C.J. is an incredible passer, and this is where value comes in. You're sitting here now. There has not been a corner taken yet, so you can get your top corner that you've raised and I don't know if Indianapolis would have gone into this draft gone into tonight and thought to themselves we can get our top corner on our board not according to Rich well, that conversation he said if you could get six quarterbacks taken before I uh, before 15 I'll come on your show whenever you want and I don't know if I had anything to do with it quite frankly so but six are gone and and 14 straight Offensive players have gone, and the Indianapolis Colts now have the first overall pick in this draft for defense, if so, that's what they want. So are your people now on the phone with his people? Uh, to no, no, this you know what? I'm going to give him tonight. I'll let the dust settle. Give him tonight. I'll let the dust settle. Him him the dust settle. Right. I mean, he just he just had a chat with whoever we're about to hear the announcements for him, and now Seattle's on the clock to make it halfway through the draft uh, for Mike McDonald's first choice. And they're uh, being the HC there and, and, and the first non Pete Carroll one in forever in a day. I, I would just go back real quickly. Those quarterbacks, the six that we have taken, 
maybe Denver reached a little bit. Remember, they don't have a second round pick, right? right? So they couldn't just wait. They had to go get their guy. And then I would also talk about the unique nature of what's gone on in college football with the transfer portal and the COVID year. So we had two different types of quarterback ready for the first round. These three guys that were older guys, you talk about Jaden Daniels, 55 starts, Bo Nix, 61 starts, Michael Penix, 48 starts. And then you've got the normal guys that will play three years and come out. So the, I don't think it was a reach. These guys are all experienced, and, and I think they're – there's a reason why they were picked in the first round. Yeah, we have video of Jaden Daniels connecting to Brandon Ayuk to beat Justin Herbert in a game against Oregon. And That's De how long about that? And Diamond Diamond Lord 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 is in coverage. coverage. <laughs> That's how long it's been. All right, here's the Colts pick. With the 15th pick in the 2024 NFL Draft, the Indianapolis Colts select by Atu Lotu, okay. defensive end, UCLA. So it is. Latu coming out of the green room. He is an Indianapolis Colt. There and is the, defense in the NFL. And he is the first <laughs> defensive player selected in the 2000. 24 NFL draft. And, and DJ, think about his path. He was just now the first defensive player taken in this draft, and it was just a few years ago when he was at the University of Washington. He had to medically retire from the sport. It was a second chance to get to UCLA. Imagine the emotion that he's going through right now. Remember what doctor cleared him? Peyton Manning's doctor, who, who cleared Peyton to come back and play in the NFL. And he wears 15, DJ. Jalen Phillips wore 15 coming out and followed a similar path where he was medically not cleared and had to change schools, get cleared, and make it to the NFL. We'll get to the football in just a second. I am so happy for this guy. He was on his way to being a firefighter. He was thinking football was in his past, not in his future. He got a second opportunity and talk about making the most of it there at UCLA. Two phenomenal years. Here he's a 15th pick in the NFL draft. That is, that is impressive, that he stuck with it, that he put in the work, and I'm so pumped to see him rewarded, and that smile on his face is well-deserved. I mean, the production in two years after he got down to UCLA was off the charts, guys. You could not keep him out of the backfield. He had 23 and a half sacks, 34 tackles for loss. The guy was as productive as any edge rusher in college football. And the most tools in the bag, right, DJ, in terms of the three top He's got the most pitches. He's talked about, right? He's the guy that can throw the change up, throw the off speed, bring the fastball, and occasionally you see that bull rush when he had people off balance. So you saw a lot there. I do think there's a lot of that Jalen Phillips in him. Yeah. The numbers, the body type, the path of getting here, and now he's in Indianapolis, and your guys were right. He's going to chase you were talking Scott about Houston. You were talking about the emotion uh, while you guys were talking there, uh, the commissioner showed Latu his name on the jersey for the first time, and he took a step back and put his hand over his mouth like, oh, gosh, like this is actually happening. That's a cool moment right there. What a journey. Well, let's get to the video. Talked about him as a person and what he's overcome. How about the ability on the field? He's got the most diverse plan of attack to what Charles was saying. Trey Hendrickson, a real natural feel as a rusher. That was a comparison. You watch him against UCLA. Watch the hands. He is a hand technician. You give him your hands as a tackle, he's going to swipe them away, and he can bend at the top of his rush. Again, look at him run that loop. We do the loop at the combine. That is why you can replicate what you see there. Kick him inside, let him beat up on some of these guards. Not a problem. Again, he went to the Senior Bowl. He competed throughout the entire process. There he is winning inside. You overset. He's going to win. He's the most natural rusher in the draft. And I think at the end of the day, in a passing league, the most natural rusher is the first defensive player off the board. Chip Kelly and, and all of his coaches talked about how everybody gravitates towards him. You know, this this urgency that, he's ha that he has and the perspective that he has, you know, from, from his past and the injury. And it's not lost on me. Did you see all the other guys that were in the green room? Did you see who they went over and shook hands with on their way out to the stage? It was Latu, and you could tell he was genuinely happy for all of those guys in their moment. That's the type of player that's going to Indianapolis. And exactly what Gus Bradley wants as a defensive coordinator, as you guys know. Gus Bradley wants guys who can up front go get the quarterback so he can play the zones and not have to bring the extra people towards the quarterback. Latu fits the bill perfectly for what Gus Bradley wants to do as a D.C. And, and Rich, congratulations on the national championship, but I'd also be glad that Latu didn't stay at Washington. That game might have been a little bit closer. I'm sure. I'm sure. He and Braylon I mean, Trice on one side and the other. Yeah, and we saw Washington, Washington players go eight and nine. 
Puka Nakua was there uh, with him How back in that? the day as well. Kaylee Hartung is on the stage with Latu. You just said to me, I don't know how to feel. Yeah. When you think back to that moment when you were told you needed to medically retire from this sport with that neck injury in 2020, did you imagine this moment was possible? I mean, I told all the doctors that told me otherwise that I'd be at this, I'd be at this point in time playing football again. I mean, I knew it. I, I manifested it. The power of the mind is something crazy. And you just got to take it, trust in yourself, trust in the Lord. And, I mean, he's got a plan for each and every one of us. 14 offensive players off the board before you became the first defensive player. Does that become fuel as you move forward in the NFL? It definitely becomes fuel, and I definitely about to go out and prove it in, 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 in Indianapolis. <laughs> like your last. Like your last. Let's do it. Thank you. Appreciate you. There he goes. So prior to tonight, seven offensive players to start the draft before we saw our first defensive player taken was the record, and we have doubled it. 14. That wow. record may never be broken, and you'd have to say six quarterbacks in the first 12 picks.